Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Alex, the architect for back for app and in today's video we're going to store our first message from our React Native real-time chat application. So here I have my parse app React Native JS chat with my class message and here in Visual Studio the first thing I have to do is to import parse. So I'll do that by typing import parse from parse slash React Native. Then I'm going to need to store the current user as my message class asks for a from user to know who sent this message. So back to Visual Studio, I'm going to declare here inside the chat function uh, a variable called current user. So let current user. And here inside use effect, I'm going to create an asynchronous async function and call it get current user. And this function will set this variable current user to await because this is an asynchronous call parse.user.currentAsync. And if something goes wrong, we'll also have to catch these errors. So catch. I'm going to arrow function this to a console.warn no user found. And I'm going to call this method at the very end of the use effect. There you go. So when I hit the send button, the method that's called is this on send. And here is where we are going to store our message. So I'll do that by typing const message equals parse.object.extend and then my class name, in this case message. Then I'm going to instantiate a new message. So let message equals new message. Then I can set the message's properties. So message dot set, and I'm going to set the from property to my current user. And I'm going to set my message dot content to my text box enter text. This is inside this messages object which is an array. So I'm going to put messages position zero dot text. Then I'm going to message dot save. Now if I type yarn iOS it will bring Metro Bundler and deploy the application to my simulator. This usually takes a couple of minutes depending on your machine. Then I can log in with my user. And once I'm here, I can write a message. So testing, testing, one, two, three. When I hit send, it will send this message to parse so I can go back to my parse dashboard and reload my message class by clicking this icon here. And there you go, testing, testing, one, two, three. And I have my from pointer that I can click and tell me that the user who sent this message is Alex. So on the next video, we're going to integrate live queries to this application. So I hope to see you on the next videos of the series. See you soon. Bye-bye.